Hey everyone, welcome back to South by Southwest Live. I'm Gavin Stone with Manboy TV, joined by Michelle Williams with ATXEdition.tv. And we've got some great student filmmakers here from A Wrong Note. Introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm Seth Smalley. I'm an AV student at McCallum High School. And That's I'm great. Josh. I am the filmmaker of A Wrong Note. So let's tell everybody watching and listening, what exactly is Wrong Note? Well, A Wrong Note is about a, uh, a kid, played by Seth Smalley here, Harold, who is a pianist. Um, he's about to perform, and he, uh, he, gets an, he gets a visit backstage by someone who he has a, had a past love, in, you know, past love interest, right? And, uh, well, he tells him some breaking news, and it just spirals out of control from there. It's breaking news is she's moving to Ohio? Oh, no, she's, uh, she's pregnant. <gasps> Shame on you. Spoilers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, you know, the the real the real question is how is he going to be able to perform after this after this news? That is the question. So you're you're tackling a pretty open subject in young people today, and that's oh, teen yes. pregnancy. Ooh, is that an intentional choice you made? I mean, were you expecting <laughs> flack? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, actually, it started out as a um, I wanted to be comedic. Uh -huh. that, you know, I just wanted to be like a situational kind of comedy thing. I was like, oh, I could do some stuff with this, you know, because I've done comedic shorts in the past. And I was like, oh, we, I could do something with that. Then I decided I could go more in depth, make it more dramatic, you know, get a little more in depth with the characters and stuff, make it mean something. And from there, it just, it just, had to, it just wrote itself in a very dramatic way, you know. So you're definitely stepping out of your chosen genre <laughs> to tell yeah. something completely different. Yes, yes, definitely. How have people been reacting to it so far? How have people been reacting to it? Um, well, I've gotten some mixed, mixed uh, reviews from it. People have been saying that they loved it. You know, they really liked the tone that I was going for there. Other people thought, you know, it was, it was very, it's a very interesting, controversial topic to tackle. And I just say, well, whatever. <laughs> it's my film, so you know, I'm glad you guys have thoughts on it. So. Yeah, th any thoughts are, are good thoughts. It doesn't matter yes. what. Thoughts are good. So, <laughs> as you approach <laughs> this, yeah, no, better good. We'll take all your thoughts. So, <laughs> so uh, why did you want to be a part of this film? Did he just come say, here's a bag of Fritos, be in my film? Yeah, as an actor, like, um, I work with Josh a lot. Like, we're friends at Navy. And I, I act in a lot of his films. So he's like, he trusted me as an actor. And he's just like, you want to work on this? And I was like, yeah. I kind of forced him to do I, it. I read the script and I was like, wow, <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> Because the pregnancy. Yeah. yeah. So do your parents like? I can't believe you just made a film about teen pregnancy. Are you being safe? Like your parents <laughs> like trying to right. give you that talk now? Actually, while I was doing it, like my parents did not know I was filming. Oh, that was, must like, have been fun. Completely independent, but. Hey, mom and dad, yeah. here's the film I, I just made. Like, yeah, I hey, like, after oh, school, <laughs> you want to make a movie? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had actually completely forgotten about it, and I was like, oh, I. It got into South by Southwest, and then I told my parents, and they were like, Shocker. what? You made a film? Uh-oh. <laughs> Any reason why you didn't tell him you were making a film? Yeah, because he's sneaking off to make a film. <laughs> Is he a bad influence? <laughs> <laughs> we need to not, you can't be friends with him anymore. Enabler. Enabler. Nah. <laughs> no, I, I had actually worked with him before on, you know, like, short films for AV. You know, you got to make films for AV, right? And yeah. so I had asked him. He was a good buddy of mine, and I was like, hey, you know, You've worked on other, you know, little student shorts with me. Can you work on this with me? Because I trusted him as an actor, like you said, and you know, it was just went from there, and that's how it was made. <laughs> so, when did you decide to start getting into film? I mean, you're already you're uh, so young already. It's yeah. like, when did you well, start shooting? When did I start shooting the actual? The, well, the no, the, like when when did you start shooting your first film? Oh, oh, like um, jeez, um, well, I guess it was like way back then. Like I had. I'd been in, you know, like the whole action figure thing, right? I'd been Who you know, wasn't? setting up my, right? You know, G.I. Joe's and stuff <laughs> like yeah. Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> and setting up scenes and stuff, you know, making stories from that. And I was like, well, why don't I just put that in front of the camera, right? So, and then from there, it just went on to actors and stories, more complicated and, you know, just explosions and stuff. So how many years ago was that? Uh, I, I guess I started really getting serious about filming all probably maybe in like seventh Seventh grade. Wow. Like I started like saying, This is this is what I wanna this is what I wanna do. Well when I was wow. in seventh grade, I just wanted to make sure I got up every day. I mean seriously I wasn't <laughs> thinking that that deep. <laughs> right. I, and I just hated thinking about what to wear and you're and you're like, I'm gonna shoot a film today. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So what about you? What was your film origins? Uh seventh grade as well. I, I took a class at, at my middle school and like 
the teacher was a bit of a hack, but <laughs> I still liked it. Is that putting it nicely? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. So I'm going to go back and fail well, him. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can change my grade. <laughs> oh, he'll find a way. Yeah. Yeah. If there's he'll there's a will, too. there's a way. <laughs> so what is your favorite movie? Oh, what is my favorite movie? You know, I like movies from every genre, but the movie I, I'll just watch over and over. I'm not going to say over and over again because I'd probably I'd get sick and tired of it if I watched it over and over. But I really like The Shawshank Redemption. Nice. It's it's a great movie, and it's also aired a lot on TNT <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> you, know, you can probably buy the Blu-ray for like $2, yeah. so you can watch it whenever yeah. you want. No, I, I, yeah, no I, I love that movie. It's really good. And Morgan Freeman, you know, can't go wrong with Morgan You really Freeman. can't go wrong with Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that's he, like, right. I want him to narrate my GPS, you know? <laughs> yeah, because You're going to turn nice left voice. by that tree where when I was a boy, I sat <laughs> below and read a book. You know? <laughs> what about so you? What uh that's a tough question. Um, probably Fight Club. Ooh, who uh, doesn't love yes. Fight Club? Fight Club. Nice. I remember I, I was just like, like, I I watched it the first time in like the eighth grade, and like I had never really seen a good movie until then. I feel like I was never really. You never watched into a good movie, movie? <laughs> like, like Jaws or Indiana Jones <laughs> no, or Star well, Wars. <laughs> actually, I had seen Star Wars, but that was that was actually my favorite movie for a while, but. Uh, Oh, Un- until I saw Fight Club, and Fight Club is pretty like, awesome. Because like, I feel like trilogies aren't like part of the, like you can't say a trilogy is your favorite movie. Well, Empire is much better than the rest of them. Empire is the best. So, do you do you have dreams to make a feature before you leave high school, like an actual oh, feature long movie? Yeah, I've always had like ideas swirling in my crazy head. You know, like I ideas. like how he calls it just crazy. In head. my crazy <laughs> head, it's just. I don't know. I have all these ideas. I really haven't organized them, but they're up there, and I probably should start trying to, you know, figure out what I want to do with that. Because that you know, seems to be the way most of us creative types work. We have like pages <laughs> upon pages yeah. of stuff, and we just kind of throw a dart. Oh, we're gonna do that next. Yeah, right. exactly. It's just, but uh, I don't this know. one looks more fun. Let's combine them. <laughs> uh, it's it's always fun to watch the creative process work. Yeah. Um, shorts, you have to tell a whole lot in a little amount of time. And you got to be aware, but a feature you could probably just go wild on. You could do oh, all yeah. sorts of Legos and action figures <laughs> and put them on little sticks. You know, <laughs> it'd be pretty epic. That would be pretty insane. So, are both of you planning on staying in the film industry as a career? Is that what I, you guys I'm really want to do? I'm thinking of definitely pursuing it. Yeah, that that's a possibility. It's definitely an option for me. <laughs> oh, what is the other option? I mean. I'm a, I kind of a science guy. I'm kind of geeky. But nice. Fun. Techie, yes. techie guy. He'll yeah, be like, if good. I can't act, I'm going to go build robots. That's right. <laughs> go save the world. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you can't save the world's robots. And drones. You, you can build the Amazon drones that are going to start delivering for us. <laughs> <laughs> I could build Transformers and then make movies with more Transformers. Oh, there you go. Yes. There you go. Yes. I love Do geeky it. producers. We are so much fun. Right so. Now. Good luck at South by Southwest. Thank I you. I hope you guys have a phenomenal turnout for this film and it gets more, you know, views and people start saying hey this guy's got some talent this dude yeah. he can kind of act if he can't build <laughs> robots you know yeah. uh where can people see it uh they can see it actually it's uh coming up soon at the marquesa theater I believe. nobody could say that right yeah, yeah. Mar- Mar- the, theater, the marquesa yeah. theater at like what, what is it Three thirty? or no not no this is right now Three thirty is now uh, oh, there are two places uh, at once? Oh, my God, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> We're I'm not going to tell think anybody. It's, it's pretty soon. It's pretty soon. I, I can't think of the time at the moment. but Well, I, I think it'll be fun to watch with a whole audience, and I yeah. hope they, they like what they see. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you guys in the future. All right. Sweet. Have lots of fun. We'll try to. Thank you. <laughs>